Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm still in Bath. You may have seen our last video when we were at Sydney Gardens. Well, now we've come to another park. This is Bath Green Park on the other side of the city centre to Bath. Now, the reason we've come to this park is to see something that this park was named after. And that is just across the road over here. We're just coming to this apex of road junction. So when we get out of here and get across the road, I'll be able to show you why I've brought you to Bath Green Park. Those of you who are interested in railways probably have already guessed what Bath Green Park is, or you'll probably know what Bath Green Park is. And we're just coming to it now. It's just across the road. It's this building over there, that's the old Bath Green Park railway station. So what we're going to do, as soon as we get across the road, we're going to go inside and have a look. So, just get across the road. So, just bear with me a moment while we wait to cross the road. I'm just going to cross in with these people. So, we are now coming to Bath Green Park. And I get across this bit of road, you can just see the, the train shed of the station building over there. So while I wait, I might as well tell you a bit. Oh, where are we going? Yep, we can go. Right, so Bath Green Park. This was the Midland Railway's terminus in Bath. Bath is known for having the Great Western Railway, which Brunel built, taking it through Sydney Gardens over to Bath Spa. Well, the Midland Railway, 30 years after the Great Western Railway in 1870, they opened their terminus just here. But the terminus is better known for being the terminus of the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway, which actually came four years later. So it was originally not intended to be the Somerset and Dorset's terminus, but when they opened in 1874, their extension to Bath, they joined up with the Midland Railway and this became their railway station. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get out the noise of all the traffic. We're gonna go in and have a look around. So I think this part here is a restaurant, but if we go in the side, this entrance here, it's interesting, I can just see up there, and just see up there, there's a red plaque, that's a Transport Trust plaque, so we can have a look at that. So it says, Bath Green Park, the Midland Station, and it just says how the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway was opened here. So I think what we're walking through now, whether this is the old Tiggy office, I'm not sure, well, what we're coming into is where the platforms would have been. So as we come through here, here we are in the old railway station. It's now a busy market. So here we are, Bath Green Park railway station. So you can just imagine a Midland 7F or a 4F or perhaps later on a BR standard 4MT or a 9F sitting here. The trains would have gone to Bristol, that was the original Midland Railway, the Avon Valley route, part of which is preserved as the Avon Valley Railway, but it's better known with the Somerset and Dorset, which up that way it took a sharp left and climbed up out the city, which we're going to go and do a bit later. So I'm just going to walk round here. They did a few years ago, they took one of the 7Fs back here, one of the West Somerset Railways 7S was bought here, so since the Somerset and Dorset closed, trains have come here again, so I'm just walking through the middle of a closing market stall, so as you can see, this is the railway station, so I'm standing where the platforms would have been, turning round, you can see the station building we came through. So it closed in 1966 to passengers, although it did linger on for goods traffic until 1971. As we come out of here, this train shed, it was actually damaged during the war by the Luftwaffe bombs. And for a long time, the um, glass remained, um, wasn't replaced. So rain would have come in, but eventually the station was restored. And now, as you can see, this end's a car park and that end is a market. So as we come out here to where a Sainsbury's now is, we're walking along the track bed of the old Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. So leaving the station behind, we could be 
in the 19 up until the 1960s we could have been departing here behind steam on a um, train perhaps going to Bournemouth the, the line to Bristol closed the passengers earlier in 1951 so that would have been a bit longer ago so leaving the station behind we'll come to where the railway crossed the River Avon so just coming still on the form of track there so we're just coming along here you can be able to see the old bridge which the railway used to cross the River Avon. It looks like though we're going to have to walk on a newer bridge built alongside the older bridge. So there's Bath Green Park getting a good view of the former terminus with its rather impressive overall roof. Coming out here there was, there was the depot as well, Bath Road. Is it Bath Road Depot or am I thinking somewhere else? Well, there was a depot, an engine shed, which I think also closed about 1971. So if you look here, this is the old railway bridge, which the cars currently use to get into the Sainsbury's. So we're gonna walk along the newer pedestrian bridge alongside. So leaving the station behind, there's the lattice work of the bridge looking that way we can see the River Avon you can see some of the Bath Georgian terrace houses what Bath is well known for it's interesting I'm not sure over there there is another cast iron bridge now I don't think that was ever a railway but possibly it was it certainly isn't the Great Western Railway that's further over that way so if anyone does know if you'd like to comment and tell me that'd be very much appreciated so as we come to the end of the bridge, which the Somerset and Dorset Railway, the Midland Railway would have used, we get to the end of where I can really show you any evidence that a railway existed. It's tempting to think it went in the line of where those London planes were, but I think they were probably planted after the line closed. I think it swung that way. This road, incidentally, is, I can't see a name, a street name to show you but it's called Stanier Road which is rather appropriate to honour to William Stanier. So just crossing here that's the track bed. So looking back towards Bath Green Park Station the terminus best known for being terminus of the Somerset and Dorset Railway. Thank you very much for watching goodbye.